Good morning. It is day 99. It's 7.30. And we are planning to do 13.7 miles today. We have 396.8 miles and 12 kilometers left. We're starting an hour early, or an hour late today, because when we got up at 5.30 it was raining, and I think it had just started raining actually, but we decided we didn't want to pack up in the rain, so <coughs> we went back to sleep for an hour. <laughs> in cloud but it's not raining at the moment so that's good hopefully that's it for the rain we will be entering the goat rocks wilderness either later today or tomorrow morning and doing the knife's edge tomorrow which we're both uncomfortable with I'm just really hoping that all of this cloud clears up and goes away by the time we go up there because otherwise we'll be in the most beautiful part and the most scary part with nothing to see <laughs> and that would be a shame but anyway that's a tomorrow problem but for now let's go Officially entering the Goat Rocks Wilderness. I hope we see some goats and some rocks. <sighs> well, we're in the Goat Rocks. This is the part that I have been the most excited to see and the reason I wanted to do Washington. So I really, really hope that the weather clears up because it would suck to go through this and not be able to see anything. I know that's happened to others and if that's what it's meant to be, it's what it's meant to be, but I really hope not. And I should have just wore shorts. Because I'm soaked. And when I stop, I'll freeze anyway. So, yeah. I should have just wore shorts. Because then I'd be at least dry and cold instead of wet and cold. <sighs> this is not how I wanted my Washington experience to be. <sighs> I thought we were going to be here early enough in the season that we wouldn't get this. <sighs> Are you hiding on me, Froggy?
I'm sure this is supposed to be our first epic view. <laughs> Nothing. This is pretty though. <laughs> we made our mile marker out of goat rocks. 393.0. <sighs> That's all we have That's left. That's all we have left. Yay. It's the things, small things in life that make you happy when you're miserable because of this. <laughs> Should we leave it there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Even someone else will see. Yeah, someone else could celebrate the fact that there's only 393 miles left. <laughs> we have decided that if we don't get any goat rock views, we're going to be asking the PCTA for our money back. <laughs> and a free redo, complete with Sherpa and llamas. Yes. And maybe a magic carpet so we don't have to walk any of it. Backpacking <laughs> only. Yes. <laughs> so I pulled, pulled a Garmin forecast. And the unfortunate part with Garmin is that it's like for where you are, and we keep moving. <laughs> So I don't really know how accurate it is, but apparently it's partly sunny today. And I believe it is above the clouds, but not where we are. It's also saying no rain until Thursday. But again, we keep moving, so... But it also says that it's going to be full cloud tomorrow which is our nice edge day. But the day after is supposed to be sunny, full sun. So I think what I might do is pull another report tonight when we get to camp. We'll only be seven miles from the knife's edge section. So it might be a little more accurate. So I'll pull another one and see what it says. If it still says cloudy for tomorrow, then I don't know, we might decide to take an on trail zero because I mean for me I really don't want to spend the energy and effort to get up there and not be able to see anything and it's not really something I'll probably ever do again so if the next day is supposed to be sunny we have we each have an extra day of food as a just in case, so in case we had to take a zero on trail or didn't get as far as we thought or whatever. So, I don't know, I'll talk to Desert Moon about it, see what she thinks, but I'm kind of leaning towards just staying put tomorrow if it's going to be cloudy and wait for the clouds to roll out and, and do that section on a sunny day rather than a cloudy day, but we'll see. For now, we're still in the cloud, but it's not as foggy here. And it's not raining, so. And I switched into my shorts, so I'm a little happier. <laughs> I hate wearing wet pants. I hate the feeling of them sticking to my body. I might be a little bit colder this way, but at least I don't have fabric sticking to me. <laughs> the sun has decided to show itself. Yay! Oh, we hope it lasts. I hope the clouds clear up and go away and the sun follows us the rest of the way. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> We had a break for lunch, and the sun came out. Yay! So we were able to dry our stuff off. And now, 
We're like five miles from camp and it's all uphill. <laughs> and the sun's out. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's hot out now. <laughs> Happy that the sun is shining. Hopefully, that's the end of our being in the clouds and rain. Crap. At least till we get past Goat Rocks. <laughs> first view today. Nice. Still can't really see it. <laughs> We're not meant to see that volcano. walking away from the thundering area. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't come where we are gonna be. We are about half a mile from where we hope to camp tonight, and the clouds are rolling back in, and they definitely look like rain clouds. Oh. So we're hoping to get there before we get rained on. Hopefully it clears up again tomorrow when we hit the nice edge, but we'll see. It, is, it will be what it'll be. We're getting a little tired of getting rained on at night though. <laughs> oh 
we have found our home. We have come to, we think it's called Nanny Lake, and we found this little trail. It kind of led away from the lake, and look what we found. Beautiful little spot for us. And we're going to go to the lake to get water after we set up. So I'll show you that. But in the meantime, this is where I'm going to set my tent up. Right there. Here's Desert Moon filling my water for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> my frog water. Got it? Yeah. Got this too. Oh, there's two froggies. Hope they're not going to do the nasty. Yeah. Not like the two in the desert were. One frog, two frog.